Why, hello there. You must be rough. Oh my god. Uncle Kenny, it's me. There must be a mistake. The madam told me you were a redhead. And a woman. No, I'm not your date. I'm your nephew, Bobby. Nephew? I ain't no grandpa. What? How the hell did you find me? I talked to you for 20 minutes in the Kmart. What the fuck you doing here? You told me to stop by for lunch sometime. Damn it, I said that to be polite. That and I was drunk. Aw, oh, hell. I can't leave one of the Rogers boys hanging. Come on in and I'll make you some lunch, Frank. Bobby! Whatever, bitch tits. Now get your fat ass in the kitchen. All right. Welcome to the kitchen. Now what do you want to eat? I don't know. What do you got? Aw, oh, fuck. I don't know. Let me check the fridge. Uh, looks like you got your choice. Barley or hops? That's not food, Uncle Kenny. That's beer. In fact, I don't see any food in this kitchen. Not a problem. Follow me. I know where we can get a shit ton of food to cook. Ah, come on, bitch tits, move your ass! My name's Bobby. Don't call me bitch tits. Why are you running? And whose dog was that? Dog? I didn't say no dog. Yes, you did. You shot at it. I thought it was one of the neighbors. Rogers! Nope, not that lucky. Rogers! Hello, Mr. Brecken. How the hell are you? Rogers, you infernal nitwit. How the fuck's life treating you? Uncle Kenny? What's wrong with this old man's face? I can hear you, you ogring slob. I have a rare skin condition, thank you very much. Well, that's fantastic, Mr. Brecken. Now what the hell can I do you for? Rogers, I was out working in my garden, and do you have any idea what I saw just now? I don't know, a bunny rabbit? No, you fool. Not what I saw in my garden, what I saw from my garden. A lawn gnome? I saw a highly obese teenager helping an out of shape country singer steal food out of my kitchen window. Yeah, well, that Garth Brooks is a damn dirty burglar. No Garth Brooks, you idiot, you! Listen, I just bought this food. I can go get my receipt from the food line. I swear to God. I swear to God. If my food is not in my kitchen by six tonight, I'm calling the police, Rogers. Go ahead. I ain't going down without a shootout. This isn't over, Rogers. I'm leaving. Tell Ethel I said hello, Mr. Beckin. Shut up. The fuck is up his butt? I don't know, but I'm still hungry. All right, all right, let's get cracking. All right, now before we start cooking, Percy. Bobby. Whatever. We need the right utensils. I think there's some over there. Let me just see what we got in here. No, 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 no. Yes. Now we're cooking with candy bitch tits. You just dropped that. I'll sterilize it. What the hell else you want me to do? You seem like a good kid, bitch tits. Now pay real good close attention. Uncle Kenny's gonna teach you how to cook! First step is to never tell anybody the Rogers family secret recipe. For your chicken? No. For something even more beautiful. Something time honored. This is the ultimate Rogers family recipe. I call it... Egg and peanut goo surprise. What's the surprise? The fuck if I know I stole the recipe from the family down the street. The second step is to take this here meat tenderizer and tenderize the shit out of this yellow stuff. <laughs> what is the yellow stuff? 
There, tender as a hooker's ass. Now we put some in this hair bowl, and the rest you put over there. Got it, num nuts? Got it, Uncle Kenny. Now we stick this some bitch in the oven and let her bake. <laughs> Nothing like yellow muffin shit. And now we wait. Uncle Kenny? What smells like gas? When I was pounding the hell out of that yellow stuff, I got a little overworked and shit myself. Not that kind of smell. Oh, pilot light must have went out. Damn thing's blown out all the time. All I gotta do is turn this knob. And Kenny said, let there be gas. <laughs> Fuck it, we're going to the roasters.